I'm Anil Kumar and Ellen, here is the question which you requested. It is question number 9, page 376, Transformation of Trigonometric Functions. Determine the equation of the following sine function. Now to find the equation of a sine function or a cosine function, what is important is to find first maximum and minimum value. So for the given function, maximum value is equal to, in this case, 8. Minimum value is equal to minus 2. Now from maximum and minimum value, we can get the axis and the amplitude. So let's find the axis first. Axis is the average of the two. That means you add them up and then divide by 2. That is the axis. So in this case, it will be 8 plus minus 2 divided by 2, which is 6 divided by 2 or 3. Now, axis is 3. Then we should find the amplitude. Now, amplitude A will be equals to maximum minus minimum divided by 2. So it is maximum minus minimum divided by 2. Maximum is 8. 8 minus minus 2 divided by 2 gives us 10 divided by 2 as 5. So the amplitude is 5 for us. Now let's find out the time period. Now time period is the distance between two maximums or two minimums or it is twice the distance between maximum or minimum. In this case we can easily find uh, the distance, horizontal distance between two maximum or two minimum. So let me do it for two minimum this time. So here we have a minimum. The other minimum is right there. Now we are given one, two, three. That means three squares is pi. So every square is pi by three. Now this happens to be right in the center so we will say that this is like half of pi by 3, right? So what we have here is pi by 6. So we can count how many, what is the distance between these two, right? So we can say as far as the pi by 3 is concerned, half on this side and half of this side, that means 1 pi by 3. Then we have 2 pi by 3, 3 pi by 3, 4 pi by 3, 5 pi by 3, and 6 pi by 3, right? So the time period is 6 pi by 3. 6 pi by 3 means it is 2 pi, right? So the time period is 2 pi. Since time period is 2 pi, we know the value of k, which is 2 pi by t. So in this case, it is 2 pi by 2 pi, which is 1, correct? So we know time period. Now we need to find the phase shift. So that is kind of critical. So phase shift, how are you going to find that? To find the phase shift, we are looking for a sine function. Now sine function starts from kind of like this. So we are looking for the starting point at the axis rising up, right? So we are looking for a point on the axis which is rising upwards. So that starting point gives us phase shift. So let us sketch the axis of the graph, which is at 3. So this is, this is 3. So that means the axis is right there. Now if you see on the axis, that is the point from where the sine function starts, kind of, right? Now this point happens to be pi by 3 before the origin. That means the sine graph has been shifted pi by 3 units to the left. And therefore, the phase shift should be minus pi by 3. Correct? Now we can write down our transform trigonometric function. Generally, we write in the form of f of x equals to a times sine within brackets k times x minus phase shift plus q. Now we have all these parameters in place. So we can write our function f of x as 
amplitude is known to us as 5 sin of the value of k is 1 so there is no need to write that x minus p p is minus pi by 3 minus minus becomes plus so we'll write plus pi by 3 and q is x is which is at 3 so we'll write plus 3 so that becomes the sinusoidal function for the given graph now as an exercise what you can do is you can find what is the cosine function for this graph now to find the cosine function you should look at the maximum now in this case as you can see the maximum starts pi by 6 after do you see that pi by 6 after so the equation will be almost same let me write that one for you then you can actually pause the video write your answer and then check with mine so the cosine function could be written as 5 cos within bracket x since it is starting afterwards that means cosine function has been translated pi by 6 units to the right right this is pi by 6 units to the right so we will write this as minus pi by 6 plus 3 so that is how you would also write the cosine function for the same graph I hope that helps you so we'll take a one more example and then see if you understand really thank you and all the best